Okay, so finally, we just need to open up a brand new Unity project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to point to the location of our Android SDK. And that's found in the edit, edit section down in preferences. And we go to external tools. And then and down here, Android, we just need to point to that SDK location. If you like me and you saved the location, uh, the, the path while you're installing it, just copy and paste it. Make sure that one is not there if you're... If you don't like me, that's just because I had it already installed. Anyway, so copy that and then come over here, hit paste. Okay, step two is to go to the JDK location and Unity actually kind of guesses where it is. Like if you just installed in the default location, it might actually just say like, like it did here. It just goes, oh, is this the location of your Java development kit? And it's like, yes, it is. So we just go select folder and that one's done. Okay, now step three is we just need to put the boot Unity into Android mode. And that's found in File, Build Settings, and then we go in Platform to select Android, and then just hit Switch Platform there. And then, okay, now it'll say Android at the top here, and yeah, we're in, we're in Android mode. And step five is just to go over to Player Settings down here. And we're just going to change a few of these down here. So we're going to go... Uh, in other settings, it, it might look like that. So we go to other settings and go to multi-threaded rendering and just turn that off. Step six is to go to package name and change that to something random, I don't know, like test AR. Okay, and then step seven, go to minimum API level and go at least level 24. Step eight is we just go down to XR settings Go to AR Core Supported. Yes, it is. Okay. And now step nine is make sure this Apps, apps for Assets folder is open. Remember that that um, on the Google page we downloaded that Unity AR Core uh, package. So wherever you downloaded that from, uh, just just find that location and drag it on over into your Assets folder. Okay and wait for that to sort of come up here and then just go import. All right, now step nine, we just go into Google AR Core and then hit Hello AR Example, go to Scenes, Hello AR, double click on that and now we've got this new Hello AR scene. Okay, and now final step, we go Build Settings, make sure we hit Add Open Scenes like this. Okay, now that'll be added. Okay, and then we just hit build and run. Now make sure that your phone is connected. You know, obviously we've got USB debugging in that enabled that we did in the last video. Uh, th yeah, there's no, make sure that, yeah, that your phone isn't in sleep mode as well, otherwise it might crash. And then we just go to build and run. Uh, save, the, save the name, to maybe test, and save. All right, cool. So yeah, so I'll just open up the uh, device viewer. You might see something like this come on your device. Okay, just hit allow. And there we go. Now we just got a, it looks like a regular camera to the, to the untrained eye. But if we go ahead and point it at the ground, you might see something like this come up. Like a little grid like that. You just hit, you know, like hit the, hit the button. You see all these little guys. They're pretty cool. You sort of zoom in on them. Show sure the orientations. Oh yeah. So yes, yeah, so you can just sort of like have a play with that anyway. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it for the for the Hello AR tutorial. Um, I like to think that's kind of like the <laughs> that's <laughs> you know okay you know as as exciting as the last three videos were. That's like you know okay now we can start doing interesting things. I'm really looking forward to doing that too.